Problem 13. Peter, Emma, and Kyler played chess with each other. Peter won four games, lost two games. Emma won three games and lost three games. If Kyler lost three games, how many games did he win? Well, um, one thing to note here is that it's a game, right? So that means that for every for every winner, there's a loser. And the thing to understand here, the key point, is to understand that there's a one-to-one -one ratio between wins and losses. Think about it like this. Give yourself a simpler example and conclude a generality. From that generality, apply it to the bigger idea and the scope of the question. Let's say I played three games. I won the first game, I won the second game, and I lost the third game. Then what must that entail for my opponent? Well, that means my opponent must have lost the first game, he must have lost the second game, and won the third game. Count up the number of wins and losses. How many wins are there? Well, there are three. How many losses are there in total? Well, there are also three. How many games are there in total? Well, there are also three. So what do you notice about this simpler example? You notice that there's a one. There's not only a one-to-one -one correspondence between the number of wins and number of losses, there's also a one-to-one -one correspondence between the wins, losses, and the number of games played. So that is the idea here. With this big idea, let's apply it to this overall question. Peter won four games and lost two games, so that means there are four wins represented in green, there are another three wins by Emma. So in total we have seven wins, but how many losses do we have? Well, we have eight total losses. Notice that there's an imbalance between the number of wins and losses, right? Because remember, wins and losses must have a one-to-one -one correspondence, meaning we cannot subtract a loss, that one makes sense, we can only add a win. So we must add one win to Kyler, so we'll add one win here. And that will give us eight wins compared to eight losses. Now, what does that make sense? Well, yeah, because we have an eight to eight. That's a one-to-one -one correspondence, and that must mean in total we have eight games played, right? So eight games played. Now that would give us a final satisfactory answer because remember, the number of games that Kyler played doesn't necessarily have to be the same as the number of games that Peter and Emma played in total, which are six. Because notice, let's just try to like cross them up. The answer is one, by the way, but I just want to give like a more analysis of why that's one. Let's let's assume that this win corresponds with this loss, this one corresponds with this loss, right? This win corresponds with this loss. That means this loss carries corresponds with this win, and this loss corresponds with this win right? And I have two wins here. So that means that if I have to have the wins, that means this is a win and loss, and then the other two, other three games are played um, like outside between Peter and Emma. Because remember, Peter and Emma, right, they only have um, this number of total possibilities, right? So we cannot subtract out more possibilities than we already have. So we cannot add more wins and losses to their already given total. So that means we can only have one game that Kyler won.